Hi, I'm John Johnston. I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily pre-assemble a hose boom. Why pre-assemble? Because in this configuration, you can just remove the bolts and then you have the clamshell operation, slip it over the main span of the pipe, put the bolts back in, tighten it up, and it's installed. Now let's get on to the pre-assembly. First of all, you want to have two tables. The boom is 15 feet long, and you want to have the bend oriented in the proper direction, pointing down from the bracket. And it makes it really easy with these two tables to line that up. And we want to look at the tools you'll need. You need a 7 16 socket and ratchet. 7 16 ratchet wrench is what I recommend, and you'll see why later. A 5 16 nut driver. You can use a utility knife, but I prefer to use a hose cutter. The rest of these tools is what you'll need once you're out in the field and you're installing it onto the pivot. An adjustable wrench to install the top fitting. A 9 16 wrench that's going to install the bracket. A 9 16 ratchet and socket. And a pinch on crimper to put on the top hose. Next is the parts. This is the top bracket with the tang. The bottom bracket has the feet that you'll attach the boom to. The parts kit. The boom brace. The square end goes on the tang. The boom itself. And the no kink supply line. First thing I like to do is empty out the parts kit. Take out the pinch on clamp and the 90 degree barbed fitting. These will be used on the pivot to connect the supply line to. I put those in a box and keep them all together so when I out in the field I have them all in one place. So we'll set that aside for later. Now I like to line up all the different parts. The bottom bracket, top bracket, the boom, and the brace. Then the U bolts that connects the boom to the bracket, along with the washers. The nuts. Then take and put the 3 8 inch bolts into the bracket and put the nuts on. These are nylon lock nuts. You're not going to tighten it all the way up, but you want to make sure they're secure so they don't slip off, especially when we put this in the truck to haul it out to the field, you don't want it falling apart. But you still want to be able to take it apart with just your hands. The short bolt goes through the tang onto the brace. like to take out the parts that are going to be used on the other end, which is the side force control fitting, the torque clip, the U-bolt that holds the torque clip on, and the two nuts, and the screw clamp. I'll put them down the other end for later. Now this is going to be the uh, clamp that hooks the supply hose on, so that will be used later. Now we're going to put on the boom brace clamp. You want to pre-assemble this a little bit, put the one side on, again just securing that lock nut so it doesn't come off. Then you're going to come down onto the boom, put the boom brace clamp around the boom. The brace goes on the outside of the bracket. You don't want to put it in the boom, you want to make sure it's on the outside. Now we're going to put the U-bolts into the bracket that holds the boom on. You 
you want to line up the end of the boom about the same distance as the end of the clamp. That's just a general rule. You can be a little over, you can be a little under. distance in here to comfortably get a ratchet and a socket in there so this ratchet wrench makes it really quick and easy to tighten up the new bolts. Now you want to pay attention and try to make these the same length and tightness. You could easily over tighten one side and pull the U-bolt crooked but you want the, uni the U-bolt uniform. makes a much more secure fit. And you don't want to over tighten it. You could over tighten it and, and flatten the tube. And if you do that a little, it's not a big deal, but you really don't want to do that. You just want a nice secure tight fitting so it's not going to rotate or slip. flush with the end of the tube. I like to put the torque clip so it points to the front of the boom. That way all of them will be uniform. It, the torque clip could be in any position, but I like to have it towards the front just to make sure everything's uniform when we're out in the field. And again, you don't want to over tighten. You just want to make sure it's secure. The arc of the torque clip is a little bit different than the outside arc of the boom, and that gives it its grabbing power to bite in. Now, if you're going to use this in the traditional configuration, this is done now. This is ready to go out in the field other than putting on the supply line. But I'm going to show you how to install the part circle configuration. So what you want to do is cut off the end of hose. You're going to leave about two inches. You're going to keep this length of hose for later. It can be used for a drop. It's still good hose. Now we're going to slip on the screw clamp and we're going to put in the side force control fitting. You want to put 
push that all the way out to the tubes to the flush with the square head of the fitting. Use your nut driver, tighten it up. Be sure to put the screw clamp over the bars. That gives you the best fitting possible. Once you have that tightened, you push down the ear of the screw clamp and you're going to push it up into the torque clip. And it might not go all the way up in, but that's okay. You get it up as far as you can until it's secure. Now we're going to go back to the other end. First thing you want to do is pull the slack out of the hose and make sure if that torque clip is securely in place. And I like to stretch it over just a little bit, kink the hose to hold it in place. This is going to allow it to spring back in once we get this fitting all in place and make it even more secure. So once that's kinked over, again I'll leave about an inch and a half to two inches and cut off the excess. This we're just going to throw away, this piece of hose. Now you put on your screw clamp. Insert the supply hose. You want to make sure the arc is pointed towards the bracket. It'll make for an easier installation once you're out in the field. You're going to slide that in. Again, make sure you're putting the screw clamp over the thread, uh, over the barbs. Once that's tight, release the kink, let it pull back in, and there you have it. We've just pre-assembled a hose boom. This is ready to be stacked on the truck, and you can start pre-assembling the next one.